everybody, Angie Zuma, Diamond Ambassador, and I am so excited to be sharing with you today. Um, first off, if you have missed any of these incredible videos in this series, I strongly encourage you to go back and watch them. Y'all, I have literally fit these into the nooks and cranny of my day. Um, driving back and forth, you know, running all the thousands of errands that we have this time of year. I've been listening to them, to them in the car. I've been listening to them as I am doing dishes, doing the laundry. Um, that is the beauty of this business, that we can fit everything that we can do, that we do into the nooks and cranny of our lives. And it's all about, guys, it's all about making it a priority, even during the craziest time of the year year. But I'm telling you, the seeds that you plant right now are going to determine your January, your February, are going to help catapult you into the new year and in 2018 with a bang. Guys, I am so fired up about all of our new, um, new incentives, about our new product, $9.99 welcome pack, Oh my goodness, y'all, this is the best time to make sure that you are planting seeds. And that's why I'm so excited to be sharing with you today um, my topic of going for no. Um, when we were, I was trying to decide what topic to do and Brienne um, brought this topic to me, I thought, oh my goodness. This is something that I did in the beginning of my business. I remember Andrea Mitchell used to always do these go for no challenges. Um, and I did them so much in the beginning of my business. And I truly believe that it catapulted my business. So I'm challenging myself and I want to challenge you. Um, starting today through the end of the year, go for 10 no's, go for 20 no's. Y'all, the more people that you reach out to, this is a numbers game. The more people you reach out to, the more no's you get, the closer that you are going to get to a yes. Um, so I want to first say, you know, this, this word no. Um, so many people are intimidated by this word no. When you hear the word no, what does that mean to you? Um, how do you respond um, in your actions? How do you respond externally? Do you stop for the day? Um, do you let that ruin your whole day or your whole month? Do you avoid situations? Um, do you avoid messaging people because you don't want to hear the word no? You don't want that rejection. Guys, if you want to be successful in this business, if you want to overcome um, the fear of failure, you have to be good at, you have to get good at hearing the word no. Um, you almost have to numb yourself to that word. Numbing yourself, y'all, numbing yourself isn't about ignoring it. It's about experiencing it so often that it loses power over you. Um, Y'all, I want to share a little story. And I don't know if any of you have been a waitress before, but, you know, we need to think of ourselves like a waitress. I know that um, when I was a waitress, um, at the end of every meal, you always offer people dessert. And if I went to a table and they rejected that dessert, uh, did I go back to the kitchen and go, oh, I just, I quit. They didn't want the dessert. Um, I quit my job. I'm not doing this anymore. No, y'all, because that would have been ridiculous. I just simply kept offering dessert. Some people are going to want what we have to offer. And some people, um, it's just simply not the time for them. But guys, if you do not reach out to people, if you do not ask them, you are never going to know. And sometimes that no, um, when you plant that seed, you know, I, I like to explain the analogy of us being like farmers. Um, hold on, let me turn this down a little bit. Alexa, volume two. Um, I like to explain the analogy of us being like a farmer. Um, every time we message someone, 
every time we post on Facebook, you think about it, we're going out there, we're plowing the field, we're spreading the seeds, we're watering the seeds every time we do this. Every time you message someone, um, if they if they look at it, if they tell you no, you know what it's done psychologically in their brain, all of a sudden they're like, okay, Angie just messaged me. Hmm. I want to see what this plexus thing is about. And you know what? There are so many people that told me no in the beginning, that told me no one, two, three, four, five times, that ignored my messages, that four years later, they have come back, they have joined the business, and now they are gold, senior gold, senior ruby ambassadors, and their life has been changed because I did not let that no knock me down. I kept going. And that's what I want you to do. That's what I want to challenge you to do today. So what I want to challenge you, starting today through the end of the month, go for no's. And let's go for um, let's go for 10 no's. Let's go for 20 no's. Y'all, the more people that you reach out to, the more opportunity you have to get that yes. The more people, the more opportunity you have to change a life and I really uh, change someone's life. And that's what I really want to, you to think about. Um, we have a product and we have a business opportunity that people are lying at w- awake at night for. Y'all, we are reaching our peak season. What are the two things, the two New Year's resolutions? One, to lose weight. Two, to pay off debt. Those are two things that Plexus can offer. And with this incredible incentive that we have going on right now, What a perfect time to get people on board and catapult your business um, in your 2018 um, with a bang and catapult your business for 2019. So I really want to encourage you to go for no. I'm going to end with a really quick um, statistic because I thought I found this really interesting. Um, Okay, so 44% of salespeople give up after one no. 44% of people give up after one no, y'all. 22% give up after the second no. Y'all, that means over 92% of people give up without even asking a fifth time. But here's the thing, guys. Here's the thing. If you want to separate yourself from other people, 60% of people Say no four times. Y'all, over half people, uh, half the people say no four times before they say yes. That means the quickest way for us to separate ourselves from the rest of the pack is to at least get five no's from everyone you share with. So I want to set this challenge to you. I want you to message people like crazy, post on Facebook, make sure that you are consistently posting on Facebook because when you're messaging people and they're ignoring you, they are still watching you. So be consistent with making sure that you are posting on on social media. Be consistent with reaching out to people. And I wanna challenge you to go for 10 to 20 no's between now and the end of the year. And I am so excited to see um, where this carries your business. I am so excited to see um, what is going to happen in your business in 2019 because y'all, I have never been more excited to be a Plexus ambassador and I know that big things are going to happen. And I am praying over each and every one of you. Um, so I hope that this was helpful for you. I hope that you accept the challenge to go for no, and I cannot wait to see where God takes our business in 2019. Bye everybody. Hope you have a very, very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year.